Hi guys, happy Monday. So, all right, um, I didn't think I was gonna go back into the devil and within traditional witchcraft, but I am. Because I think it's really important that we actually get all of these misconceptions and demonizations cleared away. So, um, the Doctrine and Ritual of High Magic by Eliza Levi has, it's, it's a very good book, so I mean, I mean, I think I have like every single page highlighted, I'm not sure, but it is amazing what he has, what he has created, what he has studied, and what he has compiled about, quote unquote, the devil, is incredible. Old horny, all of it. So, this is more leaning towards more of a Gnostic type deal, but it does give a little insight into, well, it gives a little more insight into, you know, like, different areas of the devil and how he's represented and just all that kinds of stuff and just, like, names and, you know, how the name's been interpreted and, you know, the devil, Diable or Diablo, Diablo, yeah, devil in Spanish, but yes, and the Diable, I think it's in, it's Italian or it's French, I, I think it's French, I don't know, I don't remember, but anyways, here we go. It's just really interesting, though. But, okay, so he says here, Let us declare that here, without um, bandying about the great magical agent, the double current of light, the living and astral fire of the earth, was symbolized by the serpent with the head of a bull, of a goat, um, of a dog, um, in the ancient Theogonies. 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 So, he's got all these interpretations of animal, yeah, animal characteristics, so it's literally embedded in our culture. Um, universal. So it's very universal. I love you, Ashley. <laughs> Sorry, I'm responding to my text through my uh, video. But yeah, I mean, it's all there. So, I mean, everything that you can possibly imagine uh, is a representation of the, quote, devil, unquote. So, um, where'd I go? So now it is the double serpent of the Caduceus. So, and that is related to Thoth. It's related to Hermes, uh, Herb, Hermes or Herney. I, I can't remember honestly. It's been so long. So, now it is the ancient serpent, serpent of Genesis. But it also has, it, but it is also the uh, brazen serpent of Moses. So, and you can find that in Numbers in the Bible, Numbers twenty-one uh, nine. 21.9. So, let me see here. So, interlaced with the Tao, um, that is to say that the uh, generative um, lingam, and a lingam is a holy object, like uh, the lingam for Shiva. Um, it is also the goat of the Sabbath and the Baphomet of the, t of the Templars. It is the Heil of the Gnostics. And that is, Heil is the Greek word for matter, so in Gnostic teachings, it was the power that held human souls imprisoned in the false realm of apparent existence. So this is getting a little more psychological and more, it sounds more Jungian, uh, depth psycholo psychology. So that's a little bit different. Alright, so it is the devil tail of the serpent which form the legs of the solar cockerel of Abraxas. Now finally, it is the devil of M. Udes de Mervelle. I really think I, I butchered that. Yeah, I did. And it is actually the blind force that souls must conquer to break free of the chains of the earth. Alright, so... And that is embracing nature in its fullest. So, if we can connect these, it, it does make sense. This probably doesn't make sense, and it probably doesn't realize that it doesn't make sense that it's connecting to the other videos, but it actually is. So, um, let's see. So, because if their will does not detach from this fatal... Again, you have to understand that Elvis Levi, he was an occultist, but he also, you know, he was Christian. So, dual faith observance, we have that again. Um, magnetism, so this dangerous magnetism. Um, they will be absorbed into the current by the force which produced them and will return to the central and eternal fire. And you guys have got to um, interpret this um, metaphorically as well because tons of metaphors, I mean tons. Now, all magical work thus consists of freeing oneself from the coils of an ancient serpent, then placing one foot, one's foot on its head and driving him where one's he one wishes. So he says here, I will give you, he says, in the evangelical myth, all the kingdoms of the earth, if you kneel down, if you adore me. 
Now the initiate must answer him, I will not kneel, I will not kneel down, and you will, you shall crawl at my feet, you shall give me nothing, but I will make use of you, and I will take what I wish, because I am your lord and master. An answer which is understood by, but veiled, um, in the answer, but the Savior gives him, which the Savior gives him. So it, really interesting, I mean, it's really interesting, so that is the evangelical myth, but it's, it's, it's so much more than that. So, we have already um, said that the devil is not a person. No. Um, it is a force led astray. So if it's, a for if it's a force led astray, that would have to bounce back onto Christianity. So that would be a little more Christian interpretation with that. Which, I mean, we have to take into consideration all of it. So, um, where'd I go? Um, as his name indicates, um, incidentally, so, the English word devil, like the French diable, yes, comes ultimately from the Greek word dia, across, and uh, belin, to throw. Um, Levi rarely interprets the word to mean thrown out, which is plausible if inaccurate. So, it does make sense, in a bit, in a way. But yeah, so, where did I go? I don't know where I went, guys. I do not know where I went. Oh, an odic or magnetic current formed by a chain of wills is what constitutes this evil spirit, which the gospel calls legion, and which drives the swine into the sea. Now, a new allegory for the driving of uh, basely instinctive beings by blind forces, which can be set into motion evil will and error. So basically, we're trying to get past all of the misconceptions and the, you know, the crazy um, stigmas put on the devil, quote-unquote, the devil, and bring those out and bring that to light. So, and transform that into the, you know, the alchemical process, which is, it is really alchemical. So now we can compare this symbol uh, to that of the companions of Ulysses, who are changed into swine by the magician Circe. Now, Cersei, yeah, she's a Cersei. We all know who Cersei is. If you don't, then you, if you've seen the brain then yeah, they have a pretty accurate depiction of Cersei changing anything she can with her hands into whatever she's seen, animal-wise. So, in addition, um, observe what Ulysses does to protect himself and save his um, companions. He refuses the cup of the Enchantress and, com and commands her with his sword. So, Cersei is nature with all its pleasures and its attractions. So to enjoy her, one must conquer her. That is the meaning of the um, Homeric fable, because the poems of Homer, um, the vertible and sacred books of ancient Hellas, contain all the mysteries of the high initiations of the Orient. So yeah, we, we have that to go through. <laughs> Alright, so the natural medium is therefore the serpent. That's the natural medium. Um, always active in seducing one to sloth slothful uh, drives, which must always be uh, resisted and subdued. So, it, it, may, it does make sense, but still, this is still a Christian concept of what the devil is, you know, embody of, an embodiment of. Now, an amorous marge, or mage, marge, a gluttonous mage, a wrathful mage, a lazy mage, or impossible, a monist, monist, mon whatever, they're impossible. That's pretty much what they're trying to say. The mage thinks and wills. He craves nothing lustfully. He rejects nothing passionately. The word passion represents a passive state. So, um, and the mage is always active and victorious. So, the most difficult thing to do in the high sciences is to arrive at this realization that when the mage has created himself, the great work is accomplished, at least in its instrument and in one in, 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 in it and in its cause. My gosh. <laughs> wow. So, the great um, agent or natural mediator, yeah, mediator of human omnipotence can only be used and directed by an extra natural mediator, which is an emancipated will. So, Archimedes, ask for a point of support outside of the world in order to praise the world, or raise the world. So the point of support um, of the mage is the cubic intellectual stone, the philosopher's stone of Azoth, Azoth or Azoth. This is to say the doctrine of absolute reason and of the universal harm harmonies through the sympathy of, sympathy of opposites. 
it, yeah, it, it gets a little, I mean, it really does get in depth. I mean, he goes really, really, really into depth about the devil. So, it's just really interesting. It's really interesting what he has to say about him. So, now one of our most um, fertile of writers, and at least um, the, er, and the least fixed in his um, ideas, E. Eugene, or M. Eugene Sue, has built an entire romantic saga around an individual whom he endeavors to render um, despicable and who becomes interesting, despite the author, because uh, the letter, or the latter, gives him so much power, patience, audacity, intelligence, and genius. It concerns an um, equivalent of Sixtus um, V, poor, sober, and without anger, who holds the entire world wrapped in the network of his clever... Um, Oh, mechanisms. <laughs> I was like, huh? What's that word? So yeah, I mean, it's just, it's really interesting. It's really interesting how he views the devil. So, I mean, I'm just like, I'm, I'm in, totally, you know, 60. Alright, so there's one more. I mean, there's a lot more, actually. But I mean, it's pretty interesting. It's really, actually, really, really interesting about what he has to say. So I don't know where the rest of it went. So it doesn't, it just does not make sense. Where, where did the rest of it go? But no, you guys get the, you, you guys get it. So this is pretty much where he is coming from. So I mean, it's about, you know, this is, you know, and this is a big book. So you, you've got to read it quite a few times and I've read it, you know, quite a bit. And I wouldn't, you know, not put it in, um, in my library. I would definitely put it in my library. But no, that's totally like, you know, from the 19th century, prior to the 19th century, the devil was viewed as the bat with bat wings and the crazy, like the cosmic tarot, the devil, and that's what I noticed yesterday, and I was like, well, this really is not, you know, that's the 19th century depiction. So, before that, up until the 19th century, that is how he was depicted, and then um, in the 20th century, into the 21st century to now, we have Baphomet, which is a representation of the devil, um, to a lot of people, so... But no, it's just the embodiment of everything in nature, and nature itself, nature is no, yeah, we all know it's neither good, evil, it doesn't give a shit about us, <laughs> but we still have to respect it and, you know, work with it, so, that is where I see, you know, that is how I see it, you know, I don't believe in, you know, a devil as a being, really, the horn god is what I think, so I think it's our horn god that was taken out of context and then placed into another faith, and then completely destroyed, and, you know, his image was just completely tore up. But then again, if we wouldn't have Christianity, we wouldn't have, you know, all of this to compare it to. So, I mean, I guess it is a good thing that Christianity, that hurt my eyes to roll them back that bad, did kind of demonize all, pretty much everything that we do, all of us, witches, pagans, Wiccans. Yes, I don't like Wiccans, but still, I'm putting you guys in there because you're practicing, you know, pagans. But it's just, it's really interesting to find, I mean, all this information out. I mean, it's really hard. It's really hard to actually cross-reference everything from, um, from the Children of Cain, you know, all the way through, you know, um, the freaking, um, Lee Morgan's book. So, I mean, there's a lot of, Lee Morgan, he is amazing. You're amazing, and I've watched your, inter your interviews, and you are incredible. Um, so we have the Lee Morgan, um, a deep without a name. Another good one, I'm sure, you know, within, you know, a Cornish book of myth and magic, I am sure, you know, we have um, mythical, you know, mythology and lore, you know, folklore surrounding the devil. So, the Jersey Devil, I mean, we have all kinds, literally. What is your town? I mean, for me, I don't know what, I don't know if there's any kind of local devil-like thing. Um, we have, like, Dogface Bridge, where this, like, dog, half-dog, half-human... Again, we have, we just read that the devil comes and, you know, with a dog head. So we do have that, and then we have this troll bridge, but it looks like more of a goat man. So we also have that. So that's part of our local folklore here. And that's really interesting. So that is, I mean, the, just your cultural, your surroundings, your regional surroundings. So where you guys are, how, what kind of myths do you have about the devil? Do you have, like, here we have the devil's castle, we have the devil's pyramid. Um, we have all kinds of stuff about the devil. Um, it literally we almost have like a portal to hell, they say, but I do not think, you know, that there are literal portals to hell. I think there are portals to uh, the different fairy realms, the different realms of existence. 
And I'm like, no, oh, there's no realm to hell, no portal to hell. If I would have, you know, if that would have been true, I'm sure, you know, sleeping and using all of these Ouija boards throughout these 28 years of, of, of practice would have done something, but it didn't. So yeah, it's really interesting on that topic. I like it. So yeah, I don't know. I just I I like to I want to really sink my teeth and my hands and my feet and my entirety into pre-Christian devil, the pre-Christian devil. But I mean, there it's just so interlocked that it's it's almost maddening. But yeah. So all right, let's do some coffee talk. I mean, it's 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 so interesting. It really is. I mean, comparative religion and stuff like that. And you know, like when I was doing correspondence courses, 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 um, we had stuff like that. And it's just really interesting. And what people will label as the devil, and what people will label as you know, good or evil, or pure good or pure evil, when we know that those things don't exist. So. Alright, hopefully my, uh, <laughs> my stuff loads up here. You know, we all know about the Christian mythology, you know, the devil can, in, can you know, intrude in your thoughts, and he's just that, you know, little guy on your shoulder, and then you have the angel on the other, and now, so we all know about that, we don't need to really repeat all of that and go into that, because it's actually thrown in our faces every day by, you know, Christians and Catholics and whatever, you know, that don't approve or that don't want to see the truth. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. And the Vatican, I mean, you know, they're literally, they... <laughs> That's controversial. I don't know if I should say that. I mean, literally, what the, the, what the Christians are worshipping is Lucifer. That's what Christians are worshipping. Lucifer, not Yah Yahweh or, you know, Jehovah or Adonai or... You know, any of these names were God, but, I mean, the Christian devil, Lucifer, is who, the, who they are uh, worshipping. So it's pretty interesting. Alright, and we all know what, you know, how, you know, um, LeVay Satanism, you know, they come across as, you know, there's no devil, it's all about the self. So we already know that. Which is, I, I really like that. I do. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see what you guys are saying. Where are my comments? So, yes. Last night, I gave the most intense tarot reading. Simple three cards. Scared me to death. I was literally jolted. I was literally shocked at how accurate the accuracy of that reading you ever get though you guys ever get those moments where you're like okay you know i i know this stuff works but then you really get like you know it, it catches you off guard and it's like boom and then you're like oh geez and then i had to put them away so yeah it was intense but yeah i was relaxed so that just took me by you know it took me off guard i was like whoa i'm like holy crap yeah, that's a real, I mean, that was intense. Very intense. Okay. Alright. Now it's just loading your guys' little pictures. There we go. River of Souls, hello, how are you? It's been forever. I learned so much about tarot from you. Good, aww. I'm Mavi. Thank you. Are you uh, reading for people now? I hope. I hope you guys are. I mean, I'm try I try to, you know, give everything I know about, you know, everything I know about the occult and, you know, tarot and everything, so. Aw, I'm happy for you. That's amazing. Alright, careless. Love from Mars. Love from Venus. <laughs> Gustavo. No, I want cake, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to go to the store now. Uh, Gustavo, good video always. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my brother. Lisa's life. Hello. Uh, Kelly, Tina J, hi love. Um, wow, I don't know why. Why these take so long to load? 
I feel like I wait for like two years. Soul of Thorns, Cole McLaren, hello. I think you might like these videos. <laughs> Maybe just a tiny bit. Gustavo, no. Nope, great. Keep talking. <laughs> I have to um, tell myself to shut up. You guys know that. It just starts to, I just I just start to talk when the the readings happen and it's crazy. But in a good way. A very good way. Okay, Lady Blind Wolf. Hi. The Guard Owl. Hi, my love. Bitter Almonds. Hi, love. How are you? I hope you're well. Who else? I'm gonna have to just sit down one day. Lupe! Hi, my Lupe. I love you. Kate the Witch. Tina J. Uh, Rhonda Berg. Hello. I'm gonna have to sit down with my phone one day and just kind of go through it and read the comments because I don't always get the comments on here because it filters them out so I mean that's a really good thing um, who else I'm not getting anywhere I'm getting nowhere really fast hi my Kim Lehman and Sheila Nagel you guys are amazing all your comments I love them so much okay yeah I don't know what's going on there we go hopefully I didn't miss anybody important and if I did, you can yell at me all you want. Please do, because, yeah, I, I just can't find the comments anymore. It's like, where are my comments? But anyway. So, yeah, I would love to know about your guys' local devil lore, if you have any. And if you want, you can go to mysticamber.com, enter my name, R-Y-A-N-E, all cap locks, get 10% off of all kinds of wonderful jewelry and maybe you can scry and see the devil who knows but all right guys i will see you guys tomorrow everybody have a good moon day and i love you all very much so all my love all the way from venus of course my arms kill all the way back down but i can never do that right so all right guys i love you all and everybody please be safe and please stay healthy and i love you guys with all my heart